hi everybody welcome back to my channel my name is brenda in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a after neck gown in a back cloth if you're interested stay tuned staring at herself in the mirror on the restroom door voices in her head that may I've already drafted my body basic pattern and my pattern is already on fold so I'm going to put in my body measurement. I've started with a neck. The width of my neck is 3.5 and the depth is also 3.5 and I'm going to make a round shape like that. After that I'm now marking my shoulder line is, which is 7.5 we all know that you divide your shoulder line by two then what you have is what you mark then I've marked one inch for the slant like that I'm now going to mark my ham wall but here I'm having eight inches but I'm deducting one inch out of the eight inches that I'm having now I'm marking seven inches the reason why I did that is that because this tile most of the time after stitching after sewing it it opens at the bobs so the solution is you deduct what you have on your arm wall you, you subtract one so instead of marking eight, I've marked seven inches. I'm now going to put in my dot. dot. You, ma you measure your nipple to nipple by what you have is what you mark. I'm now marking four, I have marked 4.5. Way under bust, I'm, I'm, I've, I've gone down by one inch and th then I'm marking half an inch, half an inch and I'm going to connect the points together. Like that. So guys, after that, I'm going to connect from my 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 neck, my neck with it to my sh my ham hole i'm going to make a curve kind of a curve from ham hole to a certain point it's straight then when you are when you're about to approach the neck the ham hole you put a curve but it will be best for you if you have a curved lula since for me i don't have it i tried my best to make something like that so that's it that's it I'm now going to put in my body measurement now that is acting as I'm as my bust line yeah you put in your measurement plus the sewing allowance the same thing on the waist line put in the boy up your measurement and don't forget the dot allowance you, you place back your dot then the allowance I'm now going to connect the two points together and I'm going to cut it out I'm going to be using the front part to cut out the back part actually yes i'm going to use it to cut out the back part but before i'm before before i i cut it out there is an option of a side that it's the same solution because when most of the time after doing this this style this this design the boobs the at uh, the boob space there is always an opening space so to avoid that you put a dot so that's the dot i've marked three inches then a half an inch half an inch 
to create that dirt. Yeah. So I'm cutting it out. So that's what I'm having after cutting it out and I'm going to place it on my fabric to trace it out before I cut out the back part. So this is my back cloth, the one I talked about in my previous video. If you've not yet, yet watched that video, please you can go and watch it and I'm going to leave a link on my, in my description box in that you can go and watch it. So I'm tracing it out, but I'm leaving some space, some inches, like one inch, just in case. However much I left the inch while I was cutting on the draft, but I'm still leaving some inches. One inch at the side way, but other parts of the other are, are, are okay. I didn't leave a space on it. This material is very delicate and stiff, yeah, so you have to be very careful when cutting it out. So guys, that's what, that's what I'm having. I'm now going to cut my back part. I've left one inch, one and a half inch, sorry, for my zipper allowance. Yes, and I've now connected my a, a straight line to ma to mark my the neck of the back part, which is one inch. Yeah, I've marked one inch, and I'm now going to cut it out. That's all for the back part. So guys, after cutting it, I'm now going to separate the back part because it's supposed to be two pieces. So I have to divide them into in the middle in that I can have two pieces. So that's what I'm having. This is the down part of my gown. Yeah, it's going to be a bigger, a big round, a long, big round dress. So I folded my fabric into two, into four. Yeah, it is, it is folded in on four. I believe most of us know how it means to be, to fold your fabric on four. So it's what I did. I'm now marking my my waist measurements yeah the waist measurements you divide your waist measurement by four you divide it by four so it's what i did i've now deducted 16 inches to measure my height i'm sorry my camera didn't reach out at the down part but i was marking 56 inches that was the height of my dress plus the sewing allowance i ended up marking 58 but as you can see the down part here where the fold ended they, there is a space i'm going to get a piece of the same fabric and attach it on it 
to make a full big ground down part. Hope you guys are understanding me. There, I'm cutting the down part. I'm very sorry about it. I don't know what I'm going to do to in that I can even catch the down the downer parts because most of the times I always end up missing out those those, those points out because I don't know whether I'm I'm sorry. So I'm going to be attaching that piece of a fabric to this down part in that it will be, it can be of the same size. You know how we do it. Is what I'm going to be doing. So after that, I've already stressed out my lining on this fabric because there is no way you can put on this fabric without without a lining because it, it's very stiff. Stiff, it can be irritating without a, a lining. So I've stressed out my lining and I'm going to stitch it together on the fabric. As you can see where my hands are going, that's how it is after me putting on the lining, stitching the lining together with the fabric. That's what I'm having. And after that, still, I, I, <laughs> I lost my the, the footage of a, a band, of a neck band, but I have measured the neck, then divided it in two by two. What I had, I, I, I added uh, two inches of an allowance to make it. So the, the, where you see me touching, those are the, the designs of the fabric. They came, the, it, it comes like that. That's how a back cloth it is designed. So after that, I've put in my body measurement. Yeah, plus the darts. I've put in the body measurements plus the darts. And I've pinned my zipper space with pins. Now I've brought back my down part. I've already attached my the piece where it was missing. I've already placed it. I'm now going, I'm notching it in the middle. I've cut my down part in the middle. Yes, because it was a bigger round. So I cut it in the middle. Now I'm going to, to put a notch on my upper part. Yes, I'm going to put a notch in the middle of my front part. Like that. And I'm now going to connect my back part and the front part together. Yes, like that. I'm going to connect them to it together. After stitching my my back part and the down part together, that's what I'm having. And I've placed my zipper on. Yes, I've placed my zipper on. And I've put in my lining inside. I've done most some of the things out of the camera because I didn't want this video to be too long. Yeah, but I know putting putting the zipper on is very simple. Most of us know how to put it on, even the lining. So this is my results. Yes, you can see how beautiful my dress is. I believe it's beautiful and simple. So I and I believe someone has learned something out of this video. So good goodbye. I love you all. See you in my next video.